So this is my review of Batman Returns. Now, a lot of DC fans and Batman fans alike um, regard this movie besides The Dark Knight as one of the best Batman movies of all time. And I am not on the same um, boat. Now, just like the first Batman with Michael Keaton and Danny Elfman and all, um, for me, this is just purely nostalgia, um, Batman Returns. Um, I remember as a kid watching it all the time on a VHS repeatedly, that and the first Batman, and then Batman Forever. Um, I'll say this, I get more entertained by Batman Forever Except for Batman and Robin, we'll get to that review. Trust me, you're not gonna, you're gonna love that one. But <laughs> the thing with this one, it just, it took the boring aspects of the first Batman movie and they applied it to Batman Returns and just like, like the like the whole scene where um, Penguin's goons um, crashes the whole Christmas party, and you know in Gotham. And Batman shows up, and he just seems like. And I understand Batman's supposed to be dark and broody, broody, broody and um, you know, just like he's not supposed to be like a Spider-Man character. And I get that, but like this one just seemed like he just didn't want to even be in the movie. Like he just didn't. Like he has great moments as Bruce Wayne in this movie, good moments, but overall, it just it felt like. The only ones that were kind of entertaining was the Penguin and Catwoman. I feel like Batman was kind of on the back burner and the villains kind of took over the story. This is pretty much essentially a origin story for the Penguin than it is a Batman movie. And, you know, I just, and Catwoman. I just, it wasn't, it didn't feel like a Batman movie. It just felt like a, bat, a, peng, a, a Penguin and a Catwoman uh Crossover, kind of like how they did with Harley Quinn's movie, and you know, with the Birds of Prey. That's what it felt like. Um, it just, but you know, the parts with the Batman, I was kind of like, okay, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Don't get me wrong, I love this movie and I watch it, but at the same time, it's like compared to the Christopher Nolan's or even the first Batman or Forever, it's not doesn't live up to what you would consider a great Batman movie. My rating for this is just a solid 7 out of 10. But that's my review on Batman Returns.